And what I wanted to say was, thank you, thank you, thank you for all the love, all the well wishes, all the congratulations, all the prayers, all the blessings you guys have have um, shared with us. It is it's so awesome. Thank you so much for all the love you've given us on that um, baby announcement video. I really appreciate it. <laughs> we really appreciate it. I've been really wanting. I've been wanting to film that video for a good it took me about um, I think for the first three weeks I wasn't really thinking about it but like during that third week um, after she was born I was like okay I need to start filming this video I need to start filming this video and I just something always came up something always came up something always came up and then I filmed it over a week ago but I haven't been able to get the time to to edit because she went through a bit of a no sleep phase but we're going to discuss that in the next video and um, yeah but and I wasn't used to that because she had she has always been a really good non-fussy baby so we had a bit of a rough week and yeah, so I ended up not editing it and I edited it and put it up like a week after it was filmed. So thank you, thank you, thank you so very much for all of that. We really appreciate it. Okay, onwards to the vlog. It is the following morning. Please excuse my actually don't excuse my anything. This is how I look. This is how I look now. This is what I look like every day. My effort is out. I did buy some braiding hair. Um like kinky hair. Let me show you. I've even cut it. Now I just need to braid it. Um I had asked I think on Instagram weeks ago, weeks ago, pre prior to Juju's birth, I did ask on Instagram if anyone knew any braiders in Port Elizabeth. I got two contacts. Um, a friend of mine advised one, one lady, and I was gonna call her um, before I was gonna like braid my hair, but then Jimmy was like, no, he doesn't want hospital braids to come into the house <laughs> I'm like everyone else braids so that when they come out of hospital they can have you know managed hair so that they can take care of the babies like no no what if you pick up germs what if the braids pick up germs in hospital and then you bring them home which is a fair thing anyway then obviously we had juju and now i am so super paranoid about corona and now obviously there's this new variant which has me even super paranoid so i don't know if i want to be around someone who works with people for a living yeah so i'm not quite sure if i want to use someone or if i actually just want to braid my hair myself and the plan would be just to put juju in the sling and then um 
just braid my hair while she's sleeping which brings us to the topic of vlogmas i really do want to do vlogmas guesters like there's so much happening that i want to talk to you about that i want to ask your help on that um you know like just life is exciting right now it's super 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 exciting but if you saw from the previous clips my child doesn't know what a matras is <laughs> my child thinks that a matras is the arms my child only sleeps in the arms right now she is sleeping on top of her father and so because she is so like literally i i don't i'm not lying i'm not exaggerating i'm not the only time that she sleeps on her own is um <laughs> with a prayer from god once we've slaughtered a chicken or two <laughs> sometimes even a goat you know um we try her at night we try her at night she manages like one sleep pattern but that's about it and that is with co-sleeping so and even co-sleeping is not really working she she tries to climb you you know she's like i'm on the matras but i shouldn't be here <laughs> so um yeah i she spends 20 of the 24 hours of a day on someone's arms because she's sleeping probably for 20 of those hours if not 18 when she's not sleeping she's either being fed um, being changed being bathed and maybe like spending five minutes ten minutes like sort of like looking around being entertained with a rattle or whatever but basically when she's sleeping which is a majority of the hours of the day she is in the arms and usually those arms are my arms because jimmy has taken over basically all the housework all the housework has taken over everything like i do the night duty and i do the night duty willingly um because i'm not expressing i'm exclusively breastfeeding so it just makes sense that i would be the one that wakes up at night i do the night duty willingly i'm tired during the day like, we tag team and right now he does the morning this morning nap so like when she wakes up in the morning between six and seven um you know she eats and then she has like a long nap so he's currently been he's doing those naps in the morning and then that, that gives me time to sort of like just be by myself um, laundry is the only is the only um chore that i still do and i really just enjoy doing i like putting clothes on the machine and hanging them up i don't iron them like as you can see but i don't mind like i don't mind doing laundry but yeah so i do laundry i gather myself i you know by the time um the sort of like morning sessions over sometimes i also sleep now like i use this time to like sleep gather myself like after the whole night of like i mean she's not up a lot to be honest at night she wakes up twice but sometimes it is difficult to put her back to sleep because um she hates having an IP changed so um what i do is i feed her i burp her which then wakes her up then i change her which wakes her up even more so it's much harder to put her back to sleep so you spend a little bit more time like getting her back to sleep but instead of like if i could change her and then um feed her and then the feed would be the thing that actually like starts calming her down and getting her ready to get back to sleep during the night so even though she's not up a lot of the times a lot of times at night she is quite um it takes time to do that night time middle of the night routine feeding and everything else because um of the because of the um the way in which we do it anyway i'm also trying very hard not to project my voice i'm in her i'm in her room she there in the bedroom and both doors are closed because i tend to clap hands and you know you guys when i talk about like, ha ah! and 
and even though like we try to speak normally around her when she's sleeping um because i make a lot of sudden noises those are the things that wake her up like the ha ha and the he and the clapping of hands and the those are the things that wake her up it's not necessarily the talking voice that wakes her up so yeah i just did a load of laundry i have to attend to a student who's handing in her honors um so i need to just read through her honors thesis i am on maternity leave but you can't like honest projects are like one year so it was like okay yeah and i do have a colleague who's helping me by the way um just that um yeah i need to sort out that on a student and then i am going to try and edit this vlog and put it up so basically what i'm trying to say about vlogmas is that i'm going to try and put up videos i would have liked to put up videos every day but um I'm just going to put up videos as and when I can because editing, I don't mind, the filming is not the most difficult part. Editing is the most difficult part. And therefore, um, I hope you guys understand, but please also follow me on Instagram because that is where I'm actually going to be a lot more active because it's much easier for me to just take a picture, ask a question. I'm even going to start um, doing like, um, I don't know about doing lives. But I'm going to start maybe on my stories doing like little videos and stuff. I don't normally go on camera in my stories. It's normally just text and pictures. But I'm going to start doing that because I think it's just a lot more easier. So please follow me on Instagram. It's heygapsters underscore D. And um, yeah, I will see you on the next video. Bye, Gapsters. Sorry, I'm holding my phone. Bye, Gapsters.